position. World champion, Kyle Schneider of the United States, the 19-year-old, will defeat the reigning world champion and win the gold medal at 97 kilograms. We have a star in the making. One of the first things that you notice about Kyle, or, or makes him a good wrestler, is his work ethic. He gets to practice early, he stays after practice, and he works on his weaknesses, not just his strengths. And he does a really good job of using the techniques and tactics and strategies that best fit him physically, and so he's a world champion. Kyle Snyder became uh, one of Maryland's first three-time state high school champs and decided early on that he had some greater goals beyond being a state high school wrestling champion and immediately made the decision that he wanted to be the best in the world at the very highest level. Moved to the United States Olympic Training Center here in Colorado Springs. Trained every day with the single goal of being the best in the world. You know, I talked it over with my family. I knew I wanted to pursue wrestling at that time. I knew I needed to be in an environment that would be challenging if I wanted to improve. and. This was the place that I felt like would make that happen for me. The family system itself is structured. It's a close-knit group. I think he matured at a young age. His parents did a great job with him. He understands hard work. He understands responsibility. There's no blame. If he makes a mistake, he accepts the blame and he fixes the problem. I think it goes all the way back to his early years growing up, the fact that somebody taught him well. As a college wrestling coach, you're always looking for the next big recruit, the elite. And Kyle Snyder was clearly that guy for us. He enrolls, he wrestles his freshman year, he was ready to win the Nationals. That was an event, I believe if we wrestled that event 10 times, he would have won nine. But he got caught in a position, and credit to his opponent for capitalizing on a position he shouldn't have been in. You know, those things are just opportunities for him to learn. And he really views it that way. Mentally, the shift that I made in focusing on improvement and focusing on my effort instead of focusing on the accolades and winning. It made me excited to compete against the best people in the world. Three months after that defeat, he makes the U.S. world team. He was really young and to beat the reigning Olympic champion was a sign of this guy's mental capacity to believe that he can get things done is surreal. When he beat Varner, it kind of solidified in my mind that this guy is on a course of success that I hadn't seen before. And then in Vegas, we know he wins the world championships. You know, I believed in myself, but who, who else would have believed that somebody who didn't win the NCAAs could win the worlds a couple months later? I feel like the NCAA loss made you hungrier coming into here. Uh, I don't think it made me hungrier. I just think that once, when you feel pain like that, you never want to feel it again. And I wasn't about to go, I took second at Big Tens, I wasn't going to take second at Nationals. I'm going to come out here and take silver in the world. Not going to happen. I've watched Gattisov wrestle a lot, and he had great technique. But I was just faking and making him react. And then by minute five, he was kind of shaking his arms out, coming out of his stance. And he was still wrestling really hard. I think people, people were like, man, he got tired. That's why you took him down. I was like, no, he was strong. Even in that six minute, trust me, he was strong, but it was just enough to where I was able to get to his leg and score and he wasn't reacting as fast as he normally was in the beginning of the match. Feeling, knowing you just won the world championships, you're, you're one of the best wrestlers in the world. I think it's a hard feeling to describe and something that you should celebrate about. Kyle went overseas a few times uh, during the college season. He wrestled Bultakayov and lost. He doesn't want to have uh, a loss, but the bottom line for Kyle is it was a great opportunity to learn more about himself and the positions he needs to improve on. Well, the guy of stuff, you know, they wrestled earlier in Kresnyarsk and it was a close match. And so we have to learn from that. Anytime you get two good athletes, tactics and strategy plays into it immensely and preparation. I remember after the match, I just kind of sat down. I like sitting down by myself after uh, losses and kind of evaluating it and then talking to the coaches a little bit later. He is a great wrestler. I won't take anything from him, but I think that if I would have wrestled that match and started attacking earlier, it would have been a little different. I'm extremely excited to wrestle Boltakayev again. I hope that Russia sends him. I want to compete against him. 
So in January 2016, decided to come out of my Olympic red shirt and compete for the Ohio State and finish the second semester in school. That's good for me because then I can see what I'm doing well, see what I need to get better at. There was pretty much one guy that everybody kind of had already picked to win the NCAA tournament that year at heavyweight, and his name was Nick Wisdowski. He was two-time national champion. He was on an 88 match win streak when we ended up wrestling in the NCAA finals. I got to his leg early, but by the end of the match, the two shots that I finished basically hit him and he fell over. He's deep, Steiner, and two, trying to get the tip down. I think that came from the work that I put in early on in the match, which allowed me to score in minutes seven and eight. He can operate, I call it level 10, and at level 10 output all the time, and a lot of people can't. So when they come in and they practice with us and they see what he can do, you know, he's in level 10 and the other guys are operating at four or five. It's like, he does everything like that. You know, from the lift, to the sprints, to the wrestling, to the drills, and then you go, oh, that's why he's special. I'll work out in the morning around 9 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll lift in the morning. Tuesday, Thursday, I'll wrestle in condition. Anytime you have to mentally prepare for a match and then cool down and then prepare for another match and kind of get into that groove of a tournament, I think it helps allow you to make more of a routine and allows it for you to be more comfortable in those situations to come at the Olympic trials, at the Olympic games and in other tournaments that we're competing in this summer. He's on a mission. He's focused on what it is that he wants to do. He wants to be a master of the sport. Wrestling's fun for him. He's going out and giving everything he's got every second. I know that. I'm not worried about who he's going to wrestle. You know, it's just, it's just a matter of getting the most out of him of his performance. I want to get 100% out of myself. When I am at my best, I think that I am the best wrestler in the world. Kyle Snyder's potential is somewhat limitless. He understands it's about achieving his full human and athletic potential. Bruce Baumgartner's record of you know 13 World Olympic medals, multiple world championships, obviously that's within Kyle Snyder's potential. Uh, and ultimately history will determine whether you know he achieves his full uh, athletic potential. I don't think there's like a number of, I want 12 golds and this many wrestlers of the years and this many teams, I think it's just, just wanting to be really good at wrestling. The best wrestler the world has ever seen, ever.